Now turning to the latest in Washington, where the crisis at the southern border is getting new attention from the White House. Doug Luzader live for us with details on what the Biden administration is doing to slow the record flow. Good morning to you. Good morning, and a big deal in immigration has eluded one administration after another, but the crisis at the border right now is hard to ignore. Every day, they keep coming. 200,000 migrant encounters so far this month, according to sources, and those are just the ones we're aware of. It's pictures like these that are driving new actions from the White House. President Biden spoke directly with Mexico's president yesterday, and he's sending Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas there in coming days, as the administration hopes to put new pressure on Congress. The president has done everything that he can, right, uh, on, on his own. Republicans in Congress aren't buying that, with House Speaker Mike Johnson's office saying the White House's insistence that the president has done everything that he can on his own to secure the border is an insult to the American people. The GOP looking for the administration to end catch and release policies and restart border wall construction. And as the governor of Texas is flying migrants to sanctuary cities like Chicago, the White House wants more money from Congress to help process immigrants. In Enforcement has gone completely out the window. Border patrol agents are overwhelmed. Everything right now is completely controlled by the cartel while we're doing administrative work rather than enforcement work. We're just moving people through the system as quickly as DHS wants us to do. That's all we're doing. And more resources for that administration aspect, that's going to be a part of any kind of a deal between Republicans in Congress and the White House. But so, too, will be changes in policy to try to limit the number of individuals that ultimately come across the border. Aroxia. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas, Doug. I don't know what your big plans are with the family. <laughs> To you as well. We're staying at home, just having a nice, uh, nice Christmas day at home. Okay, wonderful. Nice. Thank and you, we're Doug. also admiring your outfit. You look very sharp. He this always morning. looks fresh. He does. He does. <laughs> extra today, though. Yes.